Hello everybody, Tim here to talk about Star Wars The Last Jedi, the new trailer that just premiered during Monday Night Football. I have uh, watched the trailer twice now and I've got some thoughts. I've got some opinions and I'm here to share those with you guys today. Um, So this isn't your normal reaction, obviously, I'm voice only, so I'm not going to play the trailer along, but I'm just going to talk about it. So if you haven't seen the trailer, uh, go check it out. I think it does give away a little bit too much more than I would have wanted to see, but everything I saw was great. Um, so if, if you haven't seen it, I recommend you check it out, but also if you if you want to not know anything about the movie, it is a tad more revealing than I would have liked. But anyway, um, getting into the actual meat of the trailer now, we open up with this narration of uh, from Snoke, and he's talking about how, you know, when he first met this person who we, we assume is he's talking to Kylo Ren, that there was just like the raw energy, the raw talent. I believe he's talking to Kylo Ren. He also might be talking to Ray. We don't know um, because we don't have the context of the movie yet. Um, so I think he's talking to, to Kylo Ren. Uh, we also see Ray training um, on the island with Luke. And Luke is kind of freaked out about the immense power that Ray possesses um, with the Force. And it's kind of scary. And she's talking about how, you know, like, she always knew there was something in her. But now it's awoken, obviously, as we saw in The Force Awakens. And uh, I think it's really cool, all of her training that we saw. It looks it looks cool. But Luke is obviously a little freaked out. And the vibe I'm getting from Luke from the two trailers we have so far is he just wants nothing to do with this. And it's scary. And to me, like, we, he says, he's like, I've, I've only met one other person with this raw power before. And we're assuming that's Kylo. And you see the shot of, you know, his arm, Luke's arm coming out of the rubble. And it's, uh, we're assuming going back to when Kylo betrayed Luke and took down the temple. Um, and so no wonder Luke is freaked out that Rey is showing all this immense power. We also see um, Kylo going after his mother. Um, and, you know, this is the guy who just killed Han Solo. Not only his father, but Han Solo. It probably should be the other way around, but he he killed Han Solo. So, like, to me, like, the fact that we see him kind of going after his mom now is just insane and to see where that goes and Carrie Fisher looks amazing it's going to be tough to see this movie knowing that she's no longer with us but she looks amazing in this trailer in the couple glimpses that we got of her Um, and then we also see Finn and Phasma having what looks like an epic awesome duel who knows if that that it looks like it's probably towards the end of the film but it might be in the middle too we don't know Uh, but it just looks incredible we also get some oscar isaac as poe and some bb-8 um them flying around doing some cool stuff we see uh chewbacca and one of the porgs uh, which are very adorable as most of the internet has uh decided by this point um and then we get to see Snoke up close and personal, and he's messing with Ray. And I think, like, after seeing The Force Awakens, one of the things, obviously, I wanted more Luke. But in the end, I love that movie, and it's I, I think it's a fantastic movie. Um, but, like, I wanted more Luke, and I wanted more Snoke. And it looks like they're just going full on. Like, as we know by the end of Force Awakens... Snoke says, get Kylo Ren and bring him to me so we can finish his training. So we're going to see a lot of Snoke, I think, this time around. And I don't really care about... There was all the rumors going into Force Awakens of Mace Windu is Snoke, Boba Fett is Snoke, this person is Snoke, your mother is Snoke. Like, who... I don't care who he is. He doesn't need to be anybody. I think it's just amazing, though, that they're going full on with this character. I think he's an interesting character. I'm excited to learn more about him. But at the same time, I'm excited for a great Star Wars villain to go alongside Kylo Ren. Because I love Kylo Ren. And every moment of him in this trailer I got, uh, that I loved. The other thing about this trailer that I found interesting, going back to Luke, just being kind of like, he's freaked out by all this. I had some suspicions before, but after seeing this trailer a couple times, I'm going to say it. I think I think Luke is going to end up 
I think he is going to die in this movie. And I think that he's going to end up being a villain. I re- and not a, a traditional villain in the sense that like he's like a Darth Vader or like a Snoke or a Emperor. But I think he's just going to be on the wrong side of the argument. I think that him and Ray are going to be just on opposite sides of the coin. Um, and I don't know how that's going to take form, but the shot that really made me believe this is there's a shot of Ray. She's in the water and she, she swims out of the water and comes up and she stands up and Luke is just standing there in the dark, in this cave, in his cloak, and he's just dark and he looks pissed. Pause it on that frame. He looks pissed. And again, I could be completely off here. And honestly, I'd love nothing more than to be completely off because Luke is one of the most influential heroes ever. And I would kind of hate to like watch Return of the Jedi and think, I know that he ends up evil. What's the point? What's the point of him getting... Uh, his father back to the light side if in the end he's just going to end up dark anyway and I don't think that's going to be the case though I don't think Luke is going to end up turning to the dark side or anything like that but I do think that he, him and Ray are going to be on the wrong side of the coin now the other argument of this that I could see is maybe Ray is going to the dark side maybe Ray ends up being the villain which I think would be an interesting plot twist as we see at the end she says i need to know what my place is in all of this she says something like that i'm paraphrasing but she just wants to know what her part is in force awakens she was thrust into this madness and what is her place in all this and she reaches out and kylo's there and he reaches out for her i think they're definitely related i think they're probably cousins Let's not get into the whole who are Ray's parents because, again, I don't really care about that. But my, my gut feeling is that she is Luke's daughter and that they're cousins. And most people are going to look at that and be like, oh, my God, is Kylo Ren going to the, going to the light side? Or I think maybe she might be going to the dark side. Maybe she doesn't know how to wield all this power. The only master she's ever kind of met is Luke. And as far as we know from the two trailers, he thinks the Jedi should end. He thinks that training her is a mistake. So she doesn't know any better. <clears throat> other than her being just general, generally and genuinely a good person. She doesn't know any better. So maybe she's the one going to the dark side. And this is going to end... With Luke going off against Kylo, Rey, and Snoke. We don't know, obviously. This is just a trailer. I'm assuming this is the only trailer we're going to get. We got that teaser uh, that came out like four or five months ago. And we have this trailer. And I'm assuming that's going to be it. The movie comes out December 15th. Um, I got my tickets tonight. So I am very excited to go and see the movie um obviously as you can tell by my rambling anyway guys those are all of my thoughts on the new star wars the last jedi trailer if you've seen it what did you think about it uh please let me know in the comments please uh comment subscribe hit that like button that always helps me out a great deal if you liked this uh me talking about the trailer kind of recapping and reviewing it uh let me know and i I can do this more often um i probably won't be as excited as i am about star wars but um who knows so anyway guys as always thank you so much for listening and until next time have a good one